What is up guys, it's Soul here, your friendly neighborhood cyberbully. Welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are having an absolutely banger day. I know I am. No cap, no scam. If you like this video, your Minecraft girlfriend will never break up with you. And you'll get free V-Bucks from a guy in a white van. Don't test it, just you know, hit that like button real quick before you guys do anything else. And also, just want to let you guys know, thank you for all the support on my last video. Almost 100 views, boys. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. And shout out to Yotemaster69. Appreciate you, man. Please tell me that your eyes are fine from all the bleach. Anyway, but in today's video, we are going to be checking out Karen. She is going to be suing some 13-year-olds over some cyberbullies. So, you know, I'm about to get sued, boys. Let's get right into My the video. Amy Astis. I teach 8th grade English at Springview Middle School in Rockland Unified School District. Amy says her story starts in the 2016-2017 school year when she was informed she would have a transgender student in her class. In support of that student, um, I printed out a safe space poster, which is put together by the Student uh, Gay and Lesbian Education Network. My principal came in and asked me to remove that poster. She just said that it made her very uncomfortable. Cut to the beginning of the 2017-2018 school year. I had some students approach me and let me know that students had found out that I was gay. Before this goes on, please, you can't say she doesn't look like a female version of Bubble Bass off of Spongebob, my dude. You really can't deny that. I mean, oh my god, and I thought beluga whales were supposed to be in the ocean. Jesus Christ. And you're gay top about it, so you know, like a little sister. I mean, like, damn. A former student of mine had taken a photo of me and my partner from Instagram and then posted it on Snapchat, Instagram, and other places. I went to my administration right away. Their response to me was that it was drama and that I should let it die down. A few months later, Amy says some of her students started following her on her YouTube account. One night, someone from Rockland, California left her a comment. Said, Don't be stupid. Be a smarty. You can join the Nazi party. Nine! Back to the kitchen, you feminist. Yeah, I'm sorry about that, but like you're really get triggered about a guy saying, ha ha, join the Nazi party, my dude, I kill the Jews, boys. I mean, like it's a joke, obviously. It's the internet, man. Nobody takes this stuff seriously, dude, except Karen's that you literally have your panties in the knot. At this point, you're gay, so you probably have your partner's vagina lips in a knot, yeah, but yeah. Dykes. Amy says she again brought this to her school administration's attention, but no action was taken. Things only escalated, and one day during a class presentation, a student made disparaging comments about gay marriage. Students were very excited to sort of see what reaction they got from me. I mean, like, shout out the boys from the back. Hey, I see you. I see you, my dudes. You fucking was a teacher. Top 10 respect. Oh, and by the way, I know this is like halfway through the video, but um, how you boys holding up? No nut, November, man. My right hand feeling. Mm, just gonna that urge, you know what I mean, boys? Keep on. Day six, boys. Almost there. For me. With still no support from the administration, Amy says she began to experience depression and anxiety and ultimately went on mental health leave. So it's really like, I'm just saying, there's always a solution. You know, a toaster and a bath. I'm, I'm saying, or seppuku? Just saying, my dude. I'm joking, I'm joking. I'm not telling you to kill yourself. But I am telling you not to be, um, you know, a feminist, because that shit's hella gay. And, you know, let me just manspread real quick, get really comfortable. I, I, yeah, uh, I'm a head out. It's really hard to go in and try and teach students when you don't know sort of what's being said about you. I mean, like, why do you even care what kids think about you? You're an adult and they're little kids, you know, like, I'm a 50-year-old cyber bully on the internet making fun of you, but, like, you know, who's really going to give a fuck, I mean, but, like, yeah, honestly, like, who the hell actually cares? Like, grow up, you little pussy. I, I'm a head out boys. Karen the beluga whale is actually triggering me. She has autism everywhere in her body. So I hope you guys have a fantastic day. Thank you for watching my videos. I appreciate you, man. And I hope you guys just have that absolutely banger day. See you guys in the next one.